Okay, so today we're going to prove by contradiction that the square root of 2 is irrational. Okay, so remember, for contradiction, we're going to assume the negation of the statement. So proof, we're going to assume that the square root of 2 is rational, right? Okay, so the definition of a rational number is that the square root of 2 can be represented as an integer divided by an integer, right? A and B are integers, where B cannot be zero. So this is the definition of a rational number, and we're assuming that the square root of two is rational, right? So remember, rational numbers can is like uh, three over uh, two, right? That's a rational number, integer over an integer. Even three is a rational number because it can be represented as three over one, right? And with rational numbers, we can always uh, represent them in their lowest terms, right? So like uh, 4 over 6 is um, equivalent to 2 over 3, right? We can always represent a rational number in lowest terms, and these are actually just equal to each other, right? So not only are we going to assume that the square root of 2 is a rational number, we're going to assume that it, it's, it's in its lowest terms, right? In lowest term form. So uh, where A um, and B are in lowest terms, aka their greatest common divisor, right, is 1, right? That's what it means for um, A and B to be in lowest terms. Their um, greatest common divisor would be 1. Okay? So now, let's go back to our equation. So we have the square root of 2 is equal to A over B. Right? We can square both sides. To get um, the square root of 2 squared is 2 is equal to A over B squared is just A squared over B squared. And this gives us, right... Um, so if we multiply both sides by b squared, this will give us 2b squared is equal to a squared. And now we have a squared is equal to 2 times b squared. Well, b is an integer, so b squared would be an integer, right? So that means a squared is equal to 2 times an integer. So this means that a squared is even. And previously... We proved um, in a other video that a, if a squared is even, this means that a is even. Okay? So if a is even, this means that a is equal to 2k, where k is some integer. Okay? So now, uh, I'm going to go back to this equation right here. But instead of using a squared... I'm going to use 2k squared because I know that a is the same as 2 times an integer. So this implies that 2b squared is equal to uh, 2k squared, right? And of course, 2k squared is uh, 4k squared. So we'd get 2b squared is equal to 4k squared. And then we can divide both sides by 2 to get b squared is equal to uh, 2k squared. Look. Again, we have b squared is equal to 2 times an integer squared. So it's 2 times an integer. So this means that b squared is even. And of course, this then implies that b is even. Which means b is equal to 2q, where q is some integer. All right, there's our contradiction, right? Because we have a is even, which means A is equal to 2K. And we have B is even, which means B is equal to 2Q. So that means A and B have a common factor of 2, right? But look, we assumed that the GCD of A and B was 1. But we know the GCD is at least 2, right? So this means that the GCD of A and B does not equal 1, right? It at least equals 2, right? They at least share a common factor of 2. And here is our contradiction. Okay, so look, assuming that the square root of 2 is rational, where a, um, a rational number, where 
um, the two integers, the integer over the integer are in lowest terms, right? Or the GCD of those integers is one, led to a contradiction, right? So that means, assuming that the square root of, of two is rational, led to a contradiction, which means that the square root of two must be irrational, right? And that is our proof.